guys some major love island news and this is pretty big hey guys it's marad marali hope you guys are doing well today back and again with another video if you haven't subscribed what are you doing with your lives click that button guys and subscribe to the channel head over to my instagram at marad and it's called marali links are all in the bio below coming at you guys with content every single day multiple videos at least three to five bare minimum a day so if you haven't subscribed you're genuinely missing out on so much content don't be that guy or girl guys subscribe and let's get straight into this video so some major news for love island that has recently been announced roughly in the last 24 to 48 hours i was thinking about talking about it but i just genuinely haven't had the time because of course i'm currently abroad but it does seem that we are going to get a brand new love island show that isn't starting next year or in january that is literally going to be coming to us I believe in the coming few months, ITV will air a brand new Love Island spin-off show later this year, which catches up with the show's best love stars and reminiscing on their time in the villa. I've been saying this so many times and we damn well know the producers watch my um, channel because, you know, I, I definitely know that. Um, it's a fact. So I've genuinely been saying all the time they need to be doing some kind of show. Like, I don't know why they gave us Love Island Winter. What they should have done was Love Island Summer, cool. And then the Love Island Winter segment would have just been Love Island Summer cast. And, and what they're doing in their lives and how the show has changed. And I feel like that could be given in a kind of Made in Chelsea reality-esque kind of show. They should have done that instead. They would have had higher ratings um, because we already would have built the relationships with the cast members, but they didn't want to do that. It would have been nice to see everybody else reuniting. Um, ITV's Love Island will be back later this year for a brand new show in the autumn, but instead of its usual winter series, a spin-off show will air, charting the lives of contestants with their show. The show will be called Love Island's What Happened Next, narrated by Ian Sterling, and it's expected to be a three minute, 60, three minute episodes, three minute episodes, sorry, three episodes, um, 60 minutes each. The Islanders will discuss how their lives have changed since the first series aired five years ago. Single Islanders will reunite and perhaps new romance will blossom, plus the stars will cringe and giggle at the most iconic moments. Now, let me tell you what I don't want to see on this damn reunion situation that we're going to be getting. I don't want to be, listen, Love Island reunions are the deadest. I'm so sorry, they are the absolute deadest. The way they're all sitting on these round tables as if we're at some wedding or we're at some you know presentation that's well reunion but not at some damn like the uk can't do reunions and it really irritates me because it's like you guys just don't know how to do it like it's just annoying and i just genuinely find it like it just why is it i don't want all of these old love island cast members to be sitting on these round tables then we watch iconic moments a little bit of you know laughing here and there some dead tension somebody makes somebody throw some dead shade like gregory saying oh you know um she wasn't the only solo winner then everyone's like "Ooh!" like we don't need none of this dead crap do you understand producers we don't need that because that's just it's just dead what we want is somebody sitting in the middle presenting and the love islanders on either side and the ones what the storylines are about, they would maybe alternate and sit at the front or they just all sit together. We have a big group sitting together, depending on the season or something like that. That's what we need. Or bring some reality star, reality, not star, reality kind of Made in Chelsea-esque. Put them in environments. They did that, I think, with season two, Love Island. Put them in like a club or something or in a restaurant or whatever or different environments and they meet up and they talk. And that's what we, that's something like this, a reunion-esque. And then something with somebody sitting in the middle discussing. We don't want them all on little tables. I just find it just to be, I don't know. And if you want to bring the drama, bring the drama. We don't want some kind of friendly drama. We want it proper shade throwing, something that is gripping, something that we can talk about. Like, come on. I don't want these reunion really episodes to be dead. If you're going to bring it, bring it properly. Know how to do it properly or do not come at all because I'm genuinely going to find it frustrating. Anyways, guys, let me know what your thoughts are when it comes to this. I'm going to go to the beach and um, I'll... Definitely catch you guys soon for another video. Follow me on my Instagram, Mirage and Skumarali. I'm posting every damn day on there because y'all need to know what I'm doing because I'm living my damn best life. Inject it, guys, daily and consistent. Are you guys here for this Love Island new show that's gonna you know, come later this year? I feel like they desperately need some Love Island content this year because they missed out not only one, but two seasons, which is coin, coin, coin. So they need to bring something, you know, for people to be entertained by. So we'll just see what this brings. Subscribe to the channel, click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.